You've all heard of chat GPT. It's very likely that you already use it in some form or the other. But have you heard of DeepSeek? Well, you should have heard about it by now because it's breaking the internet and has sent shockwaves through the world of artificial intelligence or AI. It's certainly breaking app stores, that I can tell you, where it has just unseated G chat GPT as the top-rated free AI app. What's more, DeepSeek which is Chinese and open source, has taken just two weeks to become the most spoken about AI since ChatGPT. If you haven't even heard of DeepSeek, I insist you listen, because it's probably going to be very important in our lives. For years, the global AI landscape has been dominated by US-based tech giants like OpenAI, Google, and Meta. While Chinese firms like Alibaba and Baidu have invested heavily in AI, they have often struggled to keep pace. That narrative has now been smashed to pieces with the debut of an AI model called DeepSeek R1, a groundbreaking AI model developed by the Chinese startup DeepSeek. The model is drawing international attention for its efficiency, innovation, and cost-effectiveness, positioning it as a serious competitor to industry-leading models like OpenAI's GPT series. DeepSeek R1 is a large language model, LLM, designed to tackle advancing reasoning and uh, advanced reasoning and problem-solving tasks. Unlike previous Chinese AI initiatives that often mirrored US frameworks, R1 is said to be an original innovation, and rumor is it took a tiny fraction of the investment for the Chinese firm to actually achieve it, laying bare the gargantuan sums that have gone into making AI models in America. DeepSeek employs a hybrid architecture, they say, and a chain of thought reasoning, a method of breaking down complex problems step by step, similar to GPT models, but optimized for efficiency and speed. DeepSeek has open source smaller versions of R1, allowing developers and researchers to run these models locally on standard laptops. It's open source, so you're not connected to the app, and that at least on the face of it, belies any concerns about safety and privacy issues because this is, after all, a Chinese effort. Well, this so-called democratization of AI technology has garnered significant interest from independent developers and startups, particularly those who may not have the resources to leverage more costly solutions like the ones in the U.S., China has faced significant challenges due to U.S. export restrictions on high-performance chips like NVIDIA's A100 GPUs, Instead of being hindered, DeepSeek turned this into an opportunity, focusing on developing highly efficient AI models capable of operating on lower-powered hardware. This innovation has broad implications for the global AI community, offering solutions that are less dependent on high-end infrastructure. As DeepSeek makes waves, a question we're all asking, I'm asking it too, while China is making significant strides in AI, why is India's local presence in this field so muted or not present at all. Despite our vast pool of skilled engineers and active tech ecosystem and government-backed initiatives like the National AI Strategy, India is yet to produce a globally recognized AI model or platform. And this is not to say that the government is not investing. It is investing in a huge way, but we're still looking for an Indian platform. The truth is, despite solid decisions to prioritize AI, India lags in high-performance computing resources critical for AI R&D. Unlike China or the US, India's private sector has been slower to commit large-scale funding to AI startups. Many of India's brightest minds in AI migrate to the US and Europe, attracted by better resources and opportunities. India's AI ecosystem lacks the centralized, mission-driven focus seen in countries like China, where public and private sectors often collaborate on such large-scale initiatives. India has the potential to excel in AI by leveraging its strength. A thriving IT sector, a robust startup ecosystem, and a rich talent base, a more cohesive strategy involving greater investment in R&D, public-private collaboration, and infrastructure development could help India establish itself as a major player in the global AI race. The truth about AI models are they don't see borders. DeepSeek R1's emergence is a reminder that the AI landscape is becoming increasingly multipolar, by addressing resource limitations and prioritizing accessibility, DeepSeek R1 offers a model for how countries with fewer resources can innovate and compete globally. And India must not miss this bus or let this gap become bigger. For India, this development underscores the importance of prioritizing AI innovation, not just as a tech endeavor, 
but as a national strategic imperative. As the global AI race heats up, the question remains, can India rise to the challenge and carve out its own niche in the world of artificial intelligence? And joining me live to throw, uh, throw some light on some of the questions that Deep Seek seems to throw up is Kanish Gaur. He's a well-known tech expert. He's a founder of the India Future Foundation. Kanish, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, you know, Deep Seek is, is, is the top trending word right now across all social media. It's all everyone is talking about, uh, you know, everywhere in the world. Uh, you know, a few basic questions because everyone is sort of familiar with chat GPT. Uh, uh, you know, how do you see Deep Seek? Uh, you, you know, because the word out there is that it's, it's been made faster, leaner. It's been made by China, which was perceived to have a big gap with the United States when it comes to AI models. Uh, how do you see Deep Seek? What would you say about it? See, Deep Seek has been built on an open source based model. So mm. far, we have seen open AI came into the picture. Whereas it is having a commercial model. It yeah. is a commercial model where we have seen Microsoft that has contributed uh, to it. And primarily we have seen open source models being more transparent and enabling more innovation. Hmm. The key difference with DeepSeek is the version V.3 adopts multi-head latent attention and uh, an architecture which allows better loss of frequency and better load balancing hence the predicting capability of this model is well developed right again uh, the pre-trained models uh, which ultimately have the efficiency built up are far better and have basically more precision so when it comes to first time validation or training on an extremely large language models deep seek is far better hmm. as compared to some of the existing models that exist wow. uh, uh, you would also see the co-design of algorithm frameworks and mm. the hardware through which they communicate is way better than OpenAI or some of the existing AI platforms like Claude, uh, Microsoft Copilot. Yeah. Hence, it enhancing the training efficiency and reduces the training cost. Mm. So what you could do is it can scale up really fast and models could still provide support without having any overload. Yeah. Hence, its ability to provide output with the economic cost really right. changes the dimensions completely. Hence, the V3 model with the 14.8 T uh, tokens could produce strong amount of open source base models mm. that would allow pre-training of uh, you know 0 0.1 million GPUs per hour, right. which is Amazing. enormous. Yeah. So, that's one of the key differentiators and no one has got that level of Efficiency built in so far. And, 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 you know, since this is from China, obviously there are, uh, you know, all manner of questions. I, you know, I put out a tweet today, uh, you know, talking about privacy and many people laughed saying it's open source and you don't understand it. And, you know, I represent millions of people out there who are still sort of searching in the dark and trying to understand uh, many of these things. And that's the reason why I'm doing a show on it and trying to get some of those questions answered. But stay with me, uh, Kanishk. Vivek Mehra, who's co-founder and chief sustainability officer at Only Good AI is also so with me, uh, Vivek, welcome. Uh, you know, the other question that Hi. a lot of people are asking, Vivek, is, uh, uh, you know, which is, a, which is a basic question beyond what DeepSeek is and what it can do is, uh, uh, is, you know, where is India's chat GPT or India's own, uh, you know, AI model? You know, why does a country which has such a large uh, IT base and so much engineering talent not have some, you know, big global AI splash the way chat GPT and DeepSeek do? What's the answer to that question, Vivek? Yeah, so it's obviously not an easy answer. Uh, I think one of the challenges is the availability of data and the training models. Um, so it's for uh, it's not for lack of expertise for sure in mm. on the algorithmic side in terms of design, in terms of building algorithms. It's really having data which is uh, so heterogeneous, which is uh, allows for reinforcement learning, where the data can interact with the environment create more synthetic data that the machine can train on mm. and then improve the models. So India's AI market is much more fragmented. There is no concerted push towards creating an India specific language model, yeah. which caters to India use cases, caters to the, uh, the heterogeneous nature of society in India and, and, and the industry base. So there's no cl uh, uh, clear reason but I think uh, it's not for lack of expertise, for sure. 
Okay, it's not a lack of expertise. Uh, Kanish, could you weigh in on that? Is India, uh, you know, going to make some kind of a big global splash? You know, do you see that on the horizon? Because this appears to be the biggest game in town. You know, India shouldn't be missing out. See, for India to make a global splash, uh, we really have to bump up the algorithms and the speed of our Bharat GPT, which, uh, you know, IIT Bombay is working on. Hmm. Or let another institution in India rack up something which could be really quick. But again, it depends on the GPUs that we have, the hardware, apart from the open source models. Yeah. So how do you train them? How do you build out more efficiency is again going to be the key. And how large language models will work, enabling better communication to happen and better relay to happen. That's mm. going to be one of the key differentiators we have to look at. Mm. And, you know, it will take time. They started, you know, the deep seek started building it one and a half year back. Now they have built up something and now they have launched it. That's why the adoption is quick. Yeah. If you look at it, some of its key benchmark parameters, it is far better than existing models, hmm. whether it is its architecture, whether it is, you know, its uh, file test speed, whether it is, you know, the drop which is allowed, uh, everything is far better. Uh, and the user experience is also so great hmm. that you really don't need a large infrastructure. We have so far been debating on infrastructure, saying India doesn't have the GP or the infrastructure. It is more to do with who's willing to do the investment yeah, in India. Yeah. Is it going to be the government? Is it going to be the industry? So far, we haven't seen large investments being committed from businesses mm. on this. Apart from Tech Mahindra, which right. said they will build something very similar to what Open AI is doing. We haven't seen anything being committed from companies which are the tech giants from India. Yeah, they yeah. haven't really gone into the race. So today, what is needed is that some of these tech companies to build up institutional partnership with academic institution of eminence or startups. Uh, we also need venture capitalists who are willing to pour in the money. We have yes. seen open AI raise tremendous amount of money, but where are the Indian venture capitalists? Uh, a startup called as core over has mm, just been able mm. to raise only 5 million. They are trying to build out something on AI. Yeah. So the funding ecosystem is also lacking. So we will require government to really rack up and make heavy investments if India wants to continue to be in this race. Let's let's uh, hope we see something of that kind. Uh, uh, this is uh, technology. This is a world uh, that uh, you know that has changed uh, the the world completely. It has made a new normal as far as our life and our work is concerned. Uh, and bo as both Vivek and Kanish probably know better. Uh, our lives are all going to change very, very rapidly, exponentially, really, in the weeks, months, and the years ahead because of AI. So this is something we need to take very seriously. Appreciate your time, Vivek and Kanish, for being with me and helping us understand what Deep Seek, the new kid in town, really means for us all. Thank you.